Welcome back to Rebel Health. I am Dr. Ellen Vora, a holistic psychiatrist based in New York City and currently in Nelson, New Zealand. And I don't even know where to begin with this topic, but I just want to start talking about the experience of being a woman in the United States. Um, big topic, a lot of thoughts on this, so much to say. I'll try to carve out a small piece of it today, which has to do with mothering. So I think I look around in the world of parenting in the States and man, is that a fraught world with so much angst and anxiety and warring factions and sort of this group over here hating that group and thinking the choices you make are incomprehensible. And this group over here looking at that group and thinking you guys are all a bunch of idiots. And actually at the end of the day, all of these people love their kids infinitely, are just trying their best. And how have we gotten to such a place of lack of empathy and understanding of each other's viewpoints? You can make this case for a lot of different areas of parenting. But I think the most important thing that we're missing in this is for women to practice more acceptance of where they're at, to sort of recognize I'm doing my best, that's all I can do. Hate is gonna hate, but not gonna let that get to me. And I think also just for women to reconnect with their intuition. I think that women actually have an advantage when it comes to intuition. I think that the uterus, the womb, is almost like this antenna that allows us to tune in and tap in more effectively than men. Men have wonderful, nice qualities, but I think that they are a little bit of a handicap when it comes to intuition. Most men. There are witchy men out there. Um, and so I think, but women are so disconnected from this power and are even a little bit like ashamed of the idea that might, they might even have a mother's intuition or a hunch or something like that since we're in such a patriarchal moment where we look at those things as um, witchy and irrational and oversensitive and over emotional and it's just so dismissed and discredited that women are not proud of this but I want women to actually be proud of this capacity and um, and really honor it and listen to it and celebrate when they get clarity and when they have intuitions and yes, it's always good to balance intuition with the facts, with objective understanding, with gathering data, all for that. But we're right now imbalanced towards that as a culture. And we need to balance the, the facts, the data, the objective aspects and the rational aspects of life with these more emotional, energetic qualities. Um, I think women have an advantage there, but they're disconnected with it and they're not gaining from it. So I want women to be back to connecting with their intuition. I want women to recognize there are no right or wrong answers with parenting. There are some extremely, you know, there, there are extreme scenarios in parenting that's wrong. I think that corporal abuse is wrong. I think that um, we have enough data to show that that's really not helping the children or the parents or anyone involved. Um, but I think pretty much every other scenario, it's just good people loving their kids, trying the best to take good care of their kids, yet while surviving. And we don't give enough credit for the fact that it's freaking hard to raise kids. It's freaking hard to go through the world with a needy, precious, tiny little vulnerable thing. And everyone is just out there surviving. And so if we could just be less concerned with shooting these daggers of judgment at each other and more supportive, yet while also recognizing in ourselves that we can trust our own intuition and that we can give ourselves credit for the fact that we're doing our best and it's all we can do, and then stop the self-judgment and the guilt that mothers so often experience, I think this would put us all in a better place. Um, so I hope that's helpful, and we'll see you next time on Rebel Health.